Technology is entering every industry, and the music industry is no exception. Pascal, you were able to create Lander, a company that's offering musicians a totally new platform to mastering their music and distributing their music. The technology behind Lander that came from Queen Mary University, how does that work? Well, it's actually done using machine learning. So the, uh, we studied the behavior of thousands of uh, sound engineers as they were mastering, doing the final touch of finishing music. And we looked at how they behaved to finalize songs, and we tried to create a correlation between their behaviors and the actual features of the songs. So we've invested heavily in understanding how hundreds of features would be affecting their behaviors, and then by analyzing the end result, we'd understand the targets that those engineers were looking for. And by investing over the years and perfecting that nowadays, we managed to be able to do over 300,000 songs every month, which is more than all of the sound engineers of America combined nowadays. And that step-by-step -step, uh, algorithmic approach to mastering using machine learning, what are the elements of that that a musician would typically go through for a sound engineer to do it? The first element that comes to mind is the loudness. When you listen to a song on radio, for it to look professional, it needs to be loud enough to be able to play next to a song, say, by Rihanna. You know, where professionals have really mastered it to a point where it feels really engaging. So, uh, so that loudness is essential to be competitive, uh, sonically speaking. Another important element is that we create a sound stage. When you listen to music and close your eyes, you can typically visualize the source of, let's say, the drum, the guitar, the voice, and so right. forth. They're spread around the room, so it's kind of a 3D experience. But that in a studio doesn't exist. Each of the different parts are recorded on their own and then they're brought together. So mastering recreates that, sen that sense of the soundstage to make it again more engaging. And before Lander, all this was being done by sound engineers at a cost of somewhere 50 to $350 a track from the, would you have been able to gather statistics in the industry? How much have you been able to bring that down for a musician per track? If you come to Lander, a single song will cost you $10. And if you subscribe to Lander, you can bring that cost. And if you do a lot of songs, I mean, your cost can go as low as $2 a song because you can subscribe. And then as a musician, you're helping with distribution as well. Since you have momentum in finishing your song, we came up with this thing where you're one click away from publishing it to Apple Music, Spotify, and 150 sites like that in the world. So we help musicians finish their song and then share them and monetize them. And everything we do is really value-based. So users who come and use our mastering tool plus distribution pay like something like one fiftieth of uh, the real cost of going out like that. So it's really effective. But the other thing is it's all done in the same context. So if you have a moment in which you think that, wow, my song really sounds great, you're one click away from being heard the next day across the world. And then that money, is the, the royalties get paid back to you uh, royalty free, you keep everything as part of your PayPal account. So the flow is unbeatable.